G'day, Stephen Carey from OffTheGreenNose.com yet again. Yep, guess what? I'm actually sitting inside listening to a bit of John Lennon actually. Power to the people. This video, quick video, I'm going to make this really short, right? That um, screenshot on my computer tells it all. It's about batteries. And this is about the issue. Batteries are a very complicated thing. One issue that does get lost though is with all the advice that's put up a lot of people will go run 12 volt, run 24 volt, run 48 volt and they do that very definitively and that's okay, no, seriously that's okay myself and Kerry as I've put in many videos we are very 12 volt oriented all of the lights that are up there, yeah look we run 12 volt we run every light on the property, which is about 40 or, I don't know, I think it was about 50 nearly LEDs. We run them off standalone 12 volt. But when it comes to your main battery bank, this is the point of this video. It's not to do with whether you've got the best battery bank or whether you should buy the most expensive battery bank. It has nothing to do with that. It's purely about the math, all right? So all the naysayers, freaking pull your head in. I nearly said the other word then, but I didn't. Freaking pull your head in. This is about the math, and this is for the new people. If you read a post that says, yes, put a 48, 48 volt battery bank in, that's all very good. That one on screen is ours. It is a 24 volt battery bank, and without going into all the details I've put up plenty of times, it is um, only under $2,000 for a used Telstra, X Telstra battery bank. That's irrelevant. The bottom line is battery banks will cost you from next to zero for 12 volt right up to money that myself and Gary can't even comprehend but a lot of people do pay right I'm going to do some quick math here right so listen buggy if you can't understand the math run the video back three times I'm not going to answer questions down the bottom I'm ser seriously run the video back the simple math if you want to put 48 volt together in a gel or gel mat or a lead acid battery in a standard what you would call an orthodox off-grid setup I say orthodox very loosely a lot of people do this they put two volt cells in you do the math 24 volt you need 12 of them suckers right 12 so whatever battery you look at you need 12 of if you're going to do uh, lithium iron or one of the newer batteries which are far better batteries but the cost Again, this is what this video is about. They're 1.2 volts on average usually. If you put a big battery bank together, you're going to need about 40 of them. Now, a standard lead acid 2 volt battery, eh, you can get them for about you know, 600, 700 bucks these days. A lithium ion at 1.2 volt, yeah, you'll get a 500 amp hour battery. I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail. A 500 amp hour lithium ion battery bank will give you quite a lot of extra bang for your buck but it takes 40 1.2 volt batteries to pull up 48 volt oh john's getting really loud i'm gonna have to turn that down go to kerry's computer <laughs> yeah you love the music but you know sometimes yeah give peace a chance can't find the thing that's better good Back to what I was saying. In lead acid, gel mat, whatever, two volt cells will run you about 600 bucks. You probably get a thousand amp hour one, but remember with gel and mat and lead acid, uh, you only get about you know, a 40% discharge rate before you do, start doing the batteries damage. But you can get that battery bank together brand new at 12 by, 12 by meaning 12 two volt cells. To do 40 uh, to do 20 volt volt at about yeah five six hundred dollars a cell make about six seven thousand dollars if you want to turn that battery bank in gel metal lead acid into 48 volt you need 24 do the math do the math 24 by maybe 600 well I know about you but I'm thinking I just hit the 10 grand mark and I'm leaving the room okay lithium iron you want to do a 24 volt lithium ion? You're going to need about 20 batteries to do 24 volt. 24 batteries at 600 bucks. Again, do the math. It left the 10 gram mark, it left me right behind. 
but I get all too many questions put up on our platforms about 48 volt systems. They are great. They are the bee's knees. They are the most efficient. I cannot and will not ever knock a 48 volt system. They can be done many ways. You can buy a 12 volt battery, throw four of them in, in, uh, in line so to speak, because I know the people if you're new you don't understand shit. But you need four of them basically to get a 48, amp 48 volt system up. So you might buy 160 amp hour batteries and when you hit, hook four of them together, you've still only got 160 amp hours. But you have 48 volt, which is a really efficient way to go. Those batteries will probably cost you a lot of money. So, the point of this video, apart from listening to John Lennon, it's about a thousand degrees outside. Otherwise, I would have stood in the shed and done this in the heat. But it's been about like nearly 40 degrees today, so you know, get the flop over it. The bottom line, bottom line, whenever you're looking at batteries and people go, Go 48 volt with lithium iron. Stop and do the math. You may have 10, 15, 20 or more thousand dollars to spend. Great. Kumbaya. We'll all run around the fire naked and freaking sing Kumbaya to a blue in the face. Because we don't hold that against you. But if you are new and you have not got 10, 20, 30, 40 grand or whatever to spend. Don't just take a post that says 48 volt are the bee's knees. They are, but they come at a cost. I'm gonna run it back really quickly and I'm gonna shut this down because I hate making epics. I'm trying not to make epics, but it does get a bit hard because I like the music. John's really good, you know. Freaking hot day. I've got the aircon going, so I'm not bitching. Yeah, we got the evap cooler running. We got the evap cooler running on that lousy battery bank there, which is only a eighteen hundred dollar battery bank. Yeah, you can do a whole lot of shit on twenty four volt for a lot, not a lot of money. But the math, the math, back quickly. Repetition is the key to learning. Two volt cells. Multiply the two volt by whatever voltage you want to come out the other end to shove in your inverter. Okay, so you got two volt lead, you got two two volt gel mat, you got two volt whatever. You're going to need 12 of them to get 24 volt. You're going to need 24 of them to do 48 volt. Lithium ion, same deal. Except the two, the small, the, the better, sorry, the better lithium ion are about 1.2 volt. Which means, do the math. 24 volt, you're going to need about 20 of the bastards. 48 volt, you're going to need nearly 40 of them. Do the math. Go on flea bay. Look at the prices. 1.2 volts really good, and they're only 600 bucks, but you need 40 of them. Do the math, $24,000. And on that note, and you'll probably go, oh, but what's he talking about? Well, guess what? Replay the bloody video. <laughs> Cheers from Stephen Carey from OptiGreatNoise.com with which battery do you buy? 2 volt, 1.2 volt, 24 volt setup, 12 volt setup. We love 12 volt. 48 volt setup because every bugger said go 48 volt. Well then, stick your bloody YouTube on, look up batteries, play this back. There is some mathematics here you may want to look at before you start passing judgment on all the advice that buggers like me put up and some other buggers that have got bigger checkbooks than me. That's a checkbook thing, it's a math thing. And it's cheers to Stephen Carey from OpticGreedOnOz.com and I'm yelling! <laughs> No, I'm just yelling because it really sounds good. <laughs> and I like to give you a freaking laugh. The laughs come from nothing, for nothing. I don't charge for this shit. Have a laugh, listen to the music, bitch about the music in the background. If you want to know the math, play the bloody video back. Cheers from me, cheers from Kerry, and cheers from Jess who's down there flat out licking herself because she's in the air conditioned comfort on a three kilowatt system running on a lousy second-hand $1,800 battery bank on 3 kilowatt. You can't do that. You need 48 volt. And now I should shut up. Catch you guys. Bye.